China's relationship with Russia is tested every day the war in Ukraine drags on, wearing on the ties between the two autocratic nations whose leaders just a month ago declared a, quote, no limits friendship. Does Beijing potentially hold the keys to resolving the war in Ukraine? If anybody were to stand a chance at bending the year of Russian President Vladimir Putin, it would be Chinese leader Xi Jinping. That's what some experts say. But two questions. One, would she do it? And two, would Putin listen, even if he tried? It's hard to know who exactly could have sway over Putin in this moment. And listening to Xi could make him appear soft. The bigger question, though, is whether China would risk its neck, as Beijing's main priority is to protect its own interests. China's domestic messaging is quite plain. Uh, it is primarily in support of Vladimir Putin's position. The continued support uh, by uh, Xi Jinping of the Russian position in its essence uh, over Ukraine um, has been very much uh, driven again by Xi's personal relationship with Vladimir Putin. Xi has spent his decade in power cozying up to Putin, to Russia. He appears to believe that the U.S. is in decline and that Western democracies have failed. Xi is interested in partnering with Russia to create a new international system, one shaped to their benefit. They are strategic partners, not allies in the Western sense. And Russia, of course, is key to helping China shore up this idea that it can be at the front, at the helm of this new international order. Uh, they are opportunistic frenemies, happy to work together where they agree and happy to avoid the areas in which they disagree. But now a weakened Putin is changing the balance. The Beijing-Moscow relationship reflecting poorly on China and could hit Xi politically. The fault line in China right now is their determination to avoid a, a, a breach of existing US financial sanctions against Russia that would trigger any secondary sanctions against themselves. I think this time around, the US is implementing a new strategy to preempt what China might provide Russia by basically throwing, putting the intelligence out there and, and sending, sending a warning signal to Beijing that we knew this is coming. So you better think about the consequences when you decide to take those steps that we have already warned you about. She has personally invested in developing those ties and has even called Putin a, quote, best friend. The leaders have met 38 times, most recently in February in Beijing when Putin arrived for an official visit and attended the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics, making him the first world leader that she met in person since the pandemic began. That meeting was just weeks before Russia invaded Ukraine. It's exactly the strong partnership that has prompted Putin to seek military and economic assistance from Beijing. That's what U.S. officials have said. The president detailed, um, uh, you know, what the implications and consequences would be if China provides material support to Russia um, as it conducts brutal attacks against Ukrainian cities and civilians. And obviously that is something we will be watching and the world will be watching. China is the most well-poised nation to help Russia weather the impact of global sanctions and to provide military aid. It shares a vast land border with Russia, and China is the world's second largest economy. As with many nations, Beijing likely hopes that war will end sooner rather than later, especially as Russia's invasion has put China in a bind on how best to respond.